Naam, tuleta kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji na tumaye ubuheri wa afya jioni leo. Karibu katika taarifa zetu za dira jioni ya leo basi kwa Alhamisi. Kumbuka pia mie nawe tukutana mizani mwishoni mwa taarifa hizi. Mimi wako Dickens Luvanda na mtangazaji mwenza katika lugha ishara akiwa ni Boniface Moreri. Na basi washikadau katika sekta ya elimu kutoka Embu wamepinga hoja ya wabunge kutaka wanafunzi wote humu nchini kuvalia sare za shule zinazofanana. Washikadau hao wanasema kuwa sare za shule sio mavazi ambayo mtu anaweza kubadilisha kwa siku moja tu bila kushauriana. Wanasara hizo ni ishara ya mila na utamaduni wa kila shule. Na kama Alice Diana anavyoturipotia, waziri wa elimu wa Zakel Machugu amesisitiza kuwa wanafunzi kote nchini hawezi kuvaa sare zinazofanana. Pendekezo la wabunge kuwa wanafunzi wawe na sare zinazofanana kote nchini limeendelea kuibua hisia mseto kutoka kwa wadau mbalimbali na wazazi. <tos> Wizara ya elimu ilifeli kunda sera hiyo licha ya hoja iliyopitishwa bungeni. Akiwa mbele ya kamati ya bunge ya utekelezaji Jumaine, kujibu madai kwamba wizara yake ilikuwa ina sita kutekeleza pendekezo lililowasilishwa na wabunge, Waziri wa Elimu Ezekiel Machogo alisema kuwa Hali tofauti ya anga haiwezi kuruhusu wanafunzi wote kuvaa sare sawa kwa kuwa baadhi ya maeneo hushudia baridi kali huku katika maeneo mengine wanafunzi wakitakiwa kuvaa sare nyepesi kutokana na joto kali. Badala yake, Machogu aliwaambia wabunge hao kwamba ametoa agizo kwa shule zote akielekeza kuwa waruhusu wazazi kununua sare za shule kwenye maduka wanayoweza kumudu. Kulingana na wadau wa elimu huko Embu ambao wamepinga hoja hiyo ya sare zinazofanana kuondoa au kubadilisha sare za shule zitaleta mkanganyiko na utovu wa nidhamu kwani kawaida sare huhusishwa na utamaduni wa shule maalum. Because we know very well the uniform is associated with the culture of the school. It is one way of instilling discipline of the learners and uh, it's also a way of equality. Because when learners wear, wear the uniform you don't know the reach and the poor in the school. If you come up with a common uniform for the county, again the school will lose their tradition. Uh, school will lose their tradition and again it will be a kind of balkanization. Uh, you know counties are also known by their tribe. So if you say uh, like a county number 14 of them we wear a certain uniform, then obviously it will be different from the county of Meru. It will be different from the county of Kitui. So it is a kind of balkanization uh, which is not good for educational growth. Huku wakitoa wito wa kutobadilishwa kwa sare za shule, wadau hao wamewataka wabunge kutafakari upya hatua hiyo na kuwasilisha mapendekezo yao kwa umma ili kupata maoni yao. Uh, we as a private school association and chapter uh, we feel uh, uh, it, it will be good if uh, the parliament uh, consider the view of the stakeholders and uh, the stakeholder being private school association. Uh, for us, we support uh, uh, students wearing the uniform. Uh, we, uh, we support the strengthening of the culture of uniform. Mkua shule ya kimataifa ya Millbrook, Selassias Joka, amesema kuwa ni muhimu kuimarisha na kudumisha utofauti wa shule kupitia asare zake ambazo zimekuwepo tangu zamani. I would uh, recommend that members of parliament need to think through this proposal and know that even the children of Kenya who are in public and private schools, they would want that uniqueness of their school through their uniform. So, uh, I mean, it's important for us to retain that. And it can also be a good way of monitoring aspects of discipline, like when learners close schools. Imagine all learners are in a similar uniform and they are in discipline aspects. We have seen all these things in this republic. How are you going to control it? So it is important for members of parliament to allow schools to just remain in their uniqueness, in their uniform, because it might be the opening of a Pandora box, which will cause so many other disasters in terms of controls. Alice Diana, Dira Hope TV.